Hey everybody, this is Brian back with Inspiring How You See That. And we're the channel that talks about all kinds of music and entertainment, and we bring you interviews with some of your favorite artists. So if that sounds cool, go ahead and make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as we do post videos multiple times weekly, and you'll want to keep up with everything that Kevin and I are putting out there. So today we're going to do another artist spotlight, and we're going to do another one of the up-and-coming ones. So we've done a couple of these already. Uh, you guys seem to really like it. We really like doing it. So we thought, you know what? Let's do this again. So in these, we focus on five or six upcoming artists to try to shine the spotlight on those that are that are really starting to pick up some steam and, and we believe are going to become superstars. So with that in mind, we'll go ahead and jump right in. The first band that we're going to talk about is actually called Ignescent, and they are a Christian hard rock band from the Chicago area. And actually, they've been around a while, probably about 10, 12 years or so, but they're really starting to pick up some steam, and that, that's awesome to see. I actually found out about them through Facebook. I came into contact with their lead singer, Jennifer Benson, a really cool lady and an amazing voice. She actually fits that rock style perfectly. So to kind of give you an idea of what their sound is like, if you think of bands like Skillet or The Letter Black or Lacey Sturm, that kind of give you an idea of what to expect from Ignescent. Now joining Jennifer to make up the band, we have Jose Jimenez on guitar, Ian Sebastian on bass, and Ben Silverman on drums. Now this band, they, like I said, they're starting to take off and actually They've shared the stage with some big acts like, you know, Fight the Fury, Lacey Sturm, Stitched Up Heart. So they're not really new to the scene. Like I said, they're just starting to, to pick up some notoriety and some recognition, which is fantastic. Uh, some of the songs of theirs that I really like, their newest song, Goodbye, is fantastic. You want to make sure that you check that out. Uh, Exodus, Into the Night, and my favorite of theirs is Come Alive. So be sure to check out Ignescent. We'll put, as with all of these artists, we'll put all the links in below so that you can check out their videos, contact them on Facebook, Instagram, and everything else that's available. Moving on, the next band that we're going to talk about is a, a, a pretty new band, and they are from the Orlando, Florida area, and they go by the name Ease. Now, this is kind of a unique situation how I found out about them, Actually, through a First to Eleven fan club um, that I'm part of, I became friends with some of the guys there, and they set up another kind of a, you know, friend chat group on Instagram, and one of the guys in there is the lead singer of E's, Houston Lear. Great guy, has an awesome voice, um, and so his band E's, they've put out a few songs so far, a few videos, and a couple of EPs. Their latest EP was just put out in 2020, and it's Ethereal. So make sure you check that out. Some of the videos that you can see online are Saving, Rear View, and my personal favorite, and actually this one, I don't know if there's a video, but I did find it in Spotify, is This Place Is Not Okay. I think that's a, a little bit slower, a fantastic song. They're a, they're a heavier hard rock band, uh, but very versatile, and I love their sound. And joining Houston to make up the band, on guitar we have Eli Mitchell, on bass Trey Mitchell, and on drums, Eric Ibaugh. So make sure that you check out Ease and let them know that Brian and Kevin from Inspiring How You See That sent you. The next artist we're going to talk about, we're going to go back up north of the border for another country artist that I found in Canada that I really like. And he goes by the name Jason Benoit. Now Jason's been around a while and actually back in 2015, he won the Discovery Atlantic Award at the Canadian Country Music Awards. So, you know, he's got some recognition, but he's really starting to pick up steam. And he's got a, a great voice. Actually, he reminds me a lot, if you remember the artist spotlight we did on Dallas Smith, who's another Canadian country artist. He doesn't sound exactly like him, but the style is very similar. So if you like Dallas Smith's music, I really feel like you're going to like Jason Benoit. Some of the songs that I like best by him, he's done Forget to Forget, Cold Day Coming, and he did a really cool cover of Conway Twitty's Slow Hand with Leah Daniels, who's another Canadian country singer. She's got a beautiful voice as well, and undoubtedly we'll end up doing an artist spotlight on her. So check out Jason Benoit if you love great country music. He's going to be right up your alley. 
similar to what I did on our very first up and coming artist spotlight video. These next three bands I'm actually going to focus on are from the Erie PA area, which of course is my hometown where I'm at now. And all three of them have connections and have gone through Rock School Studios here in Erie PA, which of course is run by Ryan Kreischak, who we did an interview with. He's also, of course, the basis for First to Eleven. And Rock School Studios is where First to Eleven has come up, got their start, and where they shoot the majority of their videos. So it always amazes me the talent of these young kids from the Erie area that go through Rock School. And, and you gotta understand, Erie, we're not a huge area. And so it's, it's amazing to me how much talent there is here and how Ryan and the Rock School staff are able to bring that out in these kids. It, it's incredible. And the first of the three that I want to talk about, the name of the band is N60. Now, if you look on the Rock School Studios YouTube page, they actually, their old name was Knock Knock. And if you see the videos, I mean, they're a good four or five years old. They're really young in those videos. They're probably, you know, 12, 13 years old. All the girls now are about 17 and they have a fantastic sound. Um, so there's, there's three girls that kind of make up the core of N60. We've got Rachel Sanders, Bree Farrell and Faith Wisniewski and all three of them are outstanding musicians um they they all three have a very unique sound they don't sound alike but it together it's incredible and some of the videos that you can find on Rock School Studios again it'll be under the name Knock Knock include covers of Friends, Kiwi and Today now I do know for a fact that they are working on new music um, both new covers and new original stuff and they have some music videos that they're working on that will be coming out soon. As a matter of fact, I actually was at the studio was when, when one of the videos was shot. And it's a really cool one. I think you guys are going to love it. So I don't want to give away too much, but keep your eyes open for N60. In addition to that, Rachel Sanders herself has some covers that she's put out just as a solo artist. So you can check out you know, her channel under Rachel Sanders. Um, also, of course, look on the Rock School Studios channel. Some of the songs that she's done is Losing Sleep, Lifeline, and Love Story by Taylor Swift. And she did a fantastic job. So make sure that you check out N60. The next band from here in Erie in the Rock School Studios is called The Sweetest. Now The Sweetest is a, a, a great rocking band. Um, and Katie Abate is the lead singer. And she's got not only a fantastic voice, but she's got that rocker attitude. And, and you can see it when you watch the videos. It's fantastic. Again, you can find their videos on the Rock School Studios well, YouTube page. And so joining Katie is drummer Sebastian Wolstrom. And then we also have Matthew Yost and Ryan Kreischak fill in on guitar and bass, both of which, of course, are part of First 211. So, you know, check out the videos. I know that the songs that they put out so far are covers of Honesty, Comatose, and my favorite is a cover of the All-American Rejects, Swing Swing. And I know they've got more coming out that they're working on now, so again, keep your eyes open for that. And the final local Erie band that I want to talk about is called Clo Swimming With Your Clothes On. And this band has been around for about a year or two, and I they're really young, so they rage in age from, you know, Lily, the lead singer, I believe is 17, all the way down to 13. And man, these kids have talent and they've got a great sound. And so again, Lily Gamble is the lead singer. She has a fantastic voice. I mean, she, she can sing higher, but she's also got this kind of bluesy quality that she brings into some of the songs that is really endearing. She's, she's incredible. And I'm excited to see what more is coming from her and from the band. Joining Lily to make up the band We've got on drums, Anthony Kazulu, and on guitar, his brother, Quentin Kazulu, and also, uh, Kazolo, I'm sorry, I probably said that wrong, and also on guitar is Gianna Clement. And so, the four of them together, again, for being so young, it's incredible to see not only the sound, but the quality of the videos that they made is impressive. Um, they have their own YouTube channel that you can look up, and some of the covers that they've done <clears throat> excuse me, include Let Me Down, Hysteria, Run, and my favorite, One More Time. Now, you can also check out, Lily has done, I would say some kind of acoustic and solo sets of her own that are, most of them are on her Instagram channel, 
um, <clears throat> which is known by, excuse me, M Music by Lily Love. So if you check that out, you'll be able to see a lot of performances by her. And again, it's incredible. So I encourage you to check out her individual stuff as well as swimming with your clothes on. So again, these are six artists that we firmly believe are extremely talented. We love their music and they're on the verge of superstardom. So make sure you check them out now. Let us know in the comments below what kind of up and comers do you like that you think we should take a look at and maybe you know put in the spotlight. We'd love to hear from you guys. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. And as always, we love when you guys stop by. We love when you spend this time with us. We love y'all, God bless, and rock on.